driving up over the San Felipe Pueblo exit, and you can see those white peaks out there past Santa Fe. Those are the Santa Fe Mountains. Uh, that's not what they're called. Obviously, Sangre de Cristo, but I am thinking I might be wrong on that. I get my mountains mixed up sometimes. My mountain names. Anyway, I don't know if you can really make those out yet, but uh, I'm excited because it is the middle of January 2018 and up until now we didn't have any snow on those peaks till about a week ago and that's pretty unusual usually we have snow now you can't see them here I'll show you at the show you at the Arroyo uh, that's San Felipe Pueblo out there uh, usually you can't usually the mountaintops often when I was growing up in New Mexico those mountains would be Maybe not those ones, but a little further north would be covered with snow almost all year, or easily until May or June, and then starting back up in uh, September, October. Definitely by November, they were capped for the whole winter until, until spring. And uh, so the last couple years, we've had later and later snowpack, and this year is the latest I've ever seen it yet. That is... Uh, Good sight to see though. I think, I think you can make those out now. Nice snow capped mountains out there above Santa Fe. I was just snowboarding some of those slopes about uh, two days ago. That was pretty sweet. I got some footage up of that. And I'm on my way to work in Colorado and maybe to get a little snowboarding action in up around A Basin or Keystone or Breckenridge. We'll see. See if there's any snow worth going for and see how the work pans out. Since really I'm going up there to make money because uh, that's what I need to do lately. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying your day. I encourage you to get out and do something. Get out, notice the mountains around you. Get out, take a trip somewhere you haven't been if you can. I know I realize I'm very lucky and I'm very grateful for that. And, uh, I hope you're finding things to be grateful for in your life. You know what else I'm grateful for? I was just thinking about this. I am traveling with three kinds of fish in my in my packaging right now. In my pa what I packed today to travel with. Well, I actually just had a can of sardines and a packet of tuna in my in one of my bags that I kind of leave pre-packed all the time for travel, and because uh, that's good standby food for me. That's cost-effective protein. And yeah, I know it's not the most friend, environmental friendly, but it's not the worst either. Sardines are fairly low on the food chain. Tuna, not so much, but uh, anyway, that's another story for another day. And then I also have some smoked salmon, which is a treat for me. I kind of bought it for my birthday, which is coming up in about a week, a little over, over about, what is it? 10 days to my birthday, I'm gonna be 47. That's kind of exciting. Look, this here is a, I believe it's called Boudigers. This is a, outlet shopping center that's tried to make its way off to the left there. It's tried to make its way to be something a couple times in the last couple decades since it was built, or decade or so I guess, since it was built. I think now it's just used as a movie set because uh, they can't get enough business in there. Anyway, sometimes people mention that I should look into that for my big uh, sculpture and amphitheater project, but I've already seen it fail enough times that I don't think that's the right spot for me. Um, part of what I'm doing when I'm going up to Colorado is looking around the Golden, Red Rocks, Denver, Boulder area for a potential site, building site, and um, I'm still looking. I'm really, ho I had a goal of having that secured by this year, and it is this year, and I don't have it secured yet, so it's top on my mind. I'll, I'll be keeping you posted if I do get that secured in the near future. It's something I've been dreaming about, visualizing for about six years now, so I'm pretty excited to get it into the actualizing phase. Anyway, there's a last glimpse of those peaks. Till next time, peace, prosperity, and possibilities.